So, this is the new mystery box from Xiaomi and it showcases some other products. And not too long ago, of course, Xiaomi introduced us to their Xiaomi 12 Pro, the global version. And I made some videos about it, the unboxing, but also a comparison between this and of course the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. We'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out and see who did better. One thing I will have to say, wow, in low light, this one easily beats the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Either way, we'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. But let's focus on the new products other than, of course, the Xiaomi 12 Pro, which we also have received. One of them is, they of course introduced two watches. One of them is the Xiaomi Watch S1 Active. Of course, I've used the Xiaomi Watch before and I really liked it because while functionality is still decently basic, the thing is, it has the basic smart features that you need. Like of course, walking, cycling, all the stuff that you need, heart rate and so on. It all features that and that's important for me when it comes to a smartwatch. It needs to be smart, but it doesn't need to be a phone around my wrist. That makes no sense to me. Now some of you might know that I've used another watch of them as well and I think it's really comfortable. The thing is, this band itself is also quite soft, therefore Longevity on this thing really isn't the problem, especially when it comes to battery life as well. Again, so far, I've been using it for about a week, it has 46% battery life left. 46. This means that you can do about two weeks with battery life when it comes to this smartwatch. If I have a smartwatch, I don't want to charge it like I do my phone. Every other day doesn't work for me. A smartwatch needs to have at least a long battery life, and this has that. There are some useful features here as well, because for instance, this is the active version. You have the sport button and then you can allow what you are doing. So you have walking, treadmill, all that kind of stuff, outdoor cycling, indoor cycling, freestyle, pool swimming, open water, all this kind of stuff that you can do when it comes to sporting activities. This makes it just easy to access and allow you to, of course, track your activity, track how your heart rate is doing and so on. If you do want to use it as your normal smartwatch, of course there are plenty of things here as well. You get your notifications like you expect from a smartwatch. You get your music control as well, your phone control on it as well. So if for instance you are being called, of course it will display that on your watch as well. Your calories will be showcased, your steps, everything that you need on a smartwatch is here. But of course it does come with some extra features as well. For instance, just the basic one, but you can also control your camera with it as well. Simply connect your phone of course, open your camera app and then you can for instance if you have your phone at a stand or something like that and you want to take a group selfie, just use the watch, click it and there you go. This allows you to of course take images that you normally cannot where you need to control the camera, you can now do it via the smartwatch. So those kind of features are actually quite handy. Now let's talk about some basic specifications that it comes with as well. Of course it comes with GPS so you can use a compass as well. Not to mention, it is an AMOLED display, so it's plenty of brightness coming from the display itself. It comes with a 5000mAh battery, it of course has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.2. Overall, it seems to be handling everything that I want it to do well. But let's look at the next product, and these are of course the Xiaomi Buds 3T Pro. Now, overall, I've been using several Xiaomi Buds, and the thing is, the problem with Buds, just earpieces in itself, you will have that... Not every single bot fits every single person because your ears are very different. Heck, even from ear to ear, it can be very different. So that's something that I definitely noticed. The one on the right fits perfectly. It is really smooth and snug. But if I fit the other one, this one just feels like it's not as stark as the one on the right. It's not bad, but it just doesn't feel as stark. Not as secure, but overall, it's fine. And of course, you do get a really nice case, just as the previous ones as well. I think this case is actually really nice. And what I really like is, I don't know why, but there you go. What you get included with the box itself is of course your bits. So you can put that on there as well. If you do have different ear shapes, you can change those around. And of course, put on different sizes, which you can change right here. You get six included, of course, two per side. And of course you do get your cable, everything that you need with it as well. So here, USB-C cable for of course charging and of course your booklets as well. Overall, I will have to wait a little bit longer for the quality of the audio to give you a real opinion about it. So I will do that, but I will do that on my second channel, Tech by Jermaine. 
but for so far the impression is that the audio quality is just fine of course it's still bluetooth so you do have to deal with latency and so on so if you are watching videos you can tell of course but overall audio quality is really nice and i do really like this case the thing is it's a smooth case so if you do have it in your pocket you don't really notice it that much where with other versions i noticed that if it's too thick or the shape isn't as smooth as this you can tell it's in your pocket and it's not as comfortable so the housing itself is done really well especially as well it feels like it's proper quality in there hopefully that doesn't sound too hard either way this was the mystery unboxing from xiaomi i really do like these kind of products and especially the watch itself i've been using the other watch for a long long time and this one is also really nice so far so i'm curious to see how this one holds up compared to the other the other one is of course more a slender one and this is more an active watch so i'm curious to see which one i prefer at the end either way i hope you enjoyed this video and of course as stated if you do want to see a comparison between this and the samsung galaxy s21 ultra when it comes to the camera don't forget to check the link in the description of course if you want to check out either of these products no it's not sponsored but you can check it out on xiaomi.com of course you can find out all the information that you need about these things and of course let me know what you think about the video and of course if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe and while you're down there also by the way check out my second channel tech by Jermaine, if you are interested in just reviews and products not just concepts either way have a good one and talk to you guys in the next